Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we will simulate the ideal OPAM using the LTSPICE simulation tool. Uh, before that, we must understand that what is an ideal OPAM. The figure depicts an ideal OPAM where the input impedance is denoted as Rn and doesn't allow any current to flow into it. Ideally, the op-amp input impedance must be infinite and the output impedance of the op-amp is denoted as RO. RO ensures that the output voltage of the op-amp remains the same for any value of load resistance which is connected to it. Ideally, the output impedance of the op-amp must be zero. When we look into the open loop voltage gain of an ideal op-amp, it has to be infinite. Then the difference between the two input can be applied by an ideal op-amp to infinity. For an ideal op-amp, there is zero output voltage for zero input voltage. Then the input offset voltage is zero. The bandwidth of an ideal op-amp is infinite and it can amplify both the DC and the AC signal. The output voltage of op-amp changes immediately with change in the input voltage. So uh, let us start working on uh, simulation of the ideal op-amp using LTSPICE. So first click on the component and uh, we have to select an voltage controlled current source. Click OK position this component in the schematic click escape click on the resistor and place the resistor in the schematic next we require the ground connection so click on ground and escape now we have to define our uh, inputs. So for an ideal op-amp, we require uh, inverting and a non-inverting terminal and then we out. So go to label net here, type V in or type as input. Click OK and position this. Similarly, we have to do for V non-inverting terminal. So V non-inverting input, okay, position it, escape, go to label net again, click on V out and define this as output click ok and position this now right click on R1 and define this as 1 ohm click on wire join Join this ground and 
now we have completed our schematic for the ideal OPA. Click escape and right click on this and define the gain value as 1 exponential of 6 that is uh, 10 to the power of 6 click OK now uh, we have completed our schematic now we have to save this particular schematic so go to files save as so I'll save this as ideal open now since we have completed our schematic now we have to convert the schematic into a symbol go to hierarchy create new symbol go to draw and click on line drag this and make this as a form of a rectangle or any symbol which you would desire but we have to define the v in v not v in inverting terminal on inverting terminal and v out so now click escape go to edit add pin and port now we require uh, v inverting v not inverting and v out so v in click ok and position this particular pin similarly go to edit add pin and port define the label now as v non inverting go to edit add pin and port v out now click on line and complete this draw line escape go to draw line escape now we have completed our uh, symbol so we have to save the symbol so file save as now uh, one thing which you have to remember is uh, save this particular symbol uh, in in the LT spice library itself so in library uh, symbol and I have created a folder called as my symbols okay so save this particular symbol and ensure that this particular symbol name matches with the schematic name what we had given so it has to be ideal underscore op -am. okay save this so now we have completed our symbol click on new schematic okay now go to components here we have to open this particular ideal underscore opam symbol click ok and position this particular symbol on the schematic now we have to define uh, now we have to complete the circuit for uh, our ideal open right so what we have to do is that uh, click on resistor 
so we require three resistor one which would act as a load and place these resistors okay click escape we also require a ground and a voltage source okay so make the connections with the wire r3 to v1 this to the ground and v non inverting terminal to the ground okay now we have to define the value for our r1 r2 and r3 so right click define this as one one kilo ohm right click 500 ohm right click and this one is 500 ohm okay now we have to define the voltage source so right click on the voltage source go to advanced okay define the sign dc offset as 0 amplitude as 5 millivolt frequency as 1 kilohertz okay so we have defined all the parameters Now to perform the uh, DC analysis of the uh, ideal op amp, uh, go to edit, click on spice analysis, click on DC sweep. Now with the first source, name of the first source to sweep has to be V1, type of sweep has to be linear. So let us consider the start value as uh, minus 1 volt and stop value as 1 volt and the incremental value as 0 0.1 volt. Click OK. Place this on the schematic. Now click on the run button. select the input and click on V out so you can see the DC analysis of the ideal op amp circuit so I hope this uh, tutorial uh, gives you a good or a better learning experience in order to understand how to perform the simulation using LT Spice tool. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I request you to subscribe my channel for more such videos.